When you think of science, your thoughts may drift towards all sorts of stereotypes. White lab coats, pristine laboratories, and of course, unbiased, rational, objective thinking. Science, after all, is smart women and men carrying out smart, impartial research, all the while producing smart, informative results. That's science, and that's how it works. But what if I told you that up until three years ago, most biomedical research was done almost exclusively on male animals? And the reason? Hormones. I've actually been studying both males and females my entire career as a scientist. In the real world, women make up half the population, but in neuroscience research, we study males at about six to one ratio. How does that make any sense when we're trying to develop therapies for everyone? In 2016, the National Institutes of Health put in place a policy called considering sex as a biological variable. This policy states that if researchers want funding from the NIH, both male and female mice would have to be used in the experiments. Upon hearing this, one small, very scientific question pops into mind. Wait, what? We're not already doing this? The piece I wrote is called, Are Hormones a Female Problem for Animal Research? When I was thinking about this, I came to realize that this focus on influence of hormones and being variable. It essentially said that we are viewing female rodents as research subjects through the same lens that we view women in society being hormonally driven. This is a problematic from a public health standpoint if we're using gender stereotypes to drive the way we think about scientific research. So one more scientific question. How did gender stereotypes get into our laboratories in the first place? The idea that women are uniquely driven by their ovarian hormones came around in the Victorian era and it was a narrative that was put in place by biologists to keep women out of leadership in society essentially. 1940s and 50s when NIH first came around, most academic scientists were men. So there was really this attitude that female mice, maybe at their core, were basically the same as male mice, but the hormones laid on top of that made everything too complicated. It was just such a part of the dogma. It's 2019 now, but we still hear those kinds of terms used to describe women like hormonal, emotional. It, this is very much still a part of our culture. OK, now how do we change this stereotype? I think it's going to have to be grassroots on the one level, right? So, you know, I think scientists in their heart want to do good, objective research their eyes are open, they're gonna discover new things about the brain and behavior. By only testing male animals for the last 70 years in neuroscience research, who knows what we've overlooked or missed in female animals. Rebecca Shansky, and this is my narrative.